ladies and gentlemen good morning to all of you we are ready to begin the raise national air tattoo here at outlook park my name is juan antonio mena and it is my pleasure to accompany you for the next couple of sprint races we got prepared i must tell you it is very exciting to be here first time working with the royal air force Thank you very much. The opportunity, of course, is the home. Incredible, amazing military service veterans. And I gotta tell you, this is looking exciting at the moment. We have 18 uh, drivers on the grid. We're about to move into the open qualifier just for situate ourselves. We are gonna have an open qualifying. Then we'll have the first race, which consists of 50 minutes, and we'll have a second race where the first from the results gotten in the first race. Welcome everybody to the broadcast. I see some people already chatting. I see Alma Black 22. Welcome Alma to the broadcast. And well, I think we should definitely talk about Upland Park. It is a great classic British spectacle. For sure, and we're driving the Toyota GR86, a car that has been receiving lots of love ever since iRacing, which is the platform they're racing on, has, you know, uh, let us uh, drive this car. Uh, let me tell you, it is looking amazing out here at Alton Park. And as you can see, we had a poor Alex Holloway with some connection issues. But one thing is for sure, this is going to be a blast for on board with him. Here you see him heading into the hilltop. Long straight this time around. We do not have any of the chicanes. We're going to go straight and up into the cricket block. And therefore, the water tower in the corner. So that's the only chicane we have. And I need to mention, you know, those tower walls do not move. So a tiny little hit on it, and it is all done for you, unfortunately. I must say, right now, Mr. Holloway, in a very good lap, very aggressive as well. And let's talk a little further off. Alton Park, here you see at the moment it's 21 degrees, great temperatures, 54% humidity. We're not going to have any rain, of course, that's the uh, classic here in iRacing. There you see Alex Holloway getting right into the pit lane. And ladies and gentlemen, time for waiting is no more. We're ready to move into qualifying. Let's just head right on to it. Here we see the gentleman already moving out. First one is Mr. Chris Bolland, Royal Air Force E for sports drivers. Tonight, day, night, I say, because of what I'm about to tell you. We are United Forces. It is not only the UK, the United States is also here with us. The US Force is uh, joining the action. And what a wonderful thing to see nations being united, having coalitions, and enjoying the great sport that is racing. And we are going to have nothing but the best here. We're going to go actually on board with uh, Mr. Boland, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a track guide. I really see the numbers coming up. I want to say hello to everybody that is watching me on the actual event on the RIAT. Big love to all of you. And here we see Mr. Boland uh, going through the water tower and the Druid's corner is uh, the one uh, that uh, follows in just a few meters. The one will break around the 100 meter mark. And that's a great, great entry and exit as well. Oh, let's go for a lap. Throughout the park, we cross the finish line to head into the old hole corner. 
very long right hander. You gotta be careful with the exit. There is AstroTurf. But if you go a little too wide and tap the grass and you're going on the wall, fantastically done from Bone so far. We had into Dentons and turn number three, Cascades. You can see he's trying to keep it as much as possible to the curb. The line is fantastic. And of course, this is where the track changes. We go through the island band. A hairpin that leads us directly into the hilltop. You're not going through the chicane I mentioned before, which is, uh, of course, uh, <laughs> a race killer most of the time since Britons. But of course, we head now into his lap. Very nicely done. You need to sacrifice the second corner. You therefore get a lot of speed through Nickerbrook and up the hill. Clay Hill, I must say, we go. Time for the water tower. And at the Druid's corner. Double right hander, double apex. As you can see, same steering angle. The exit is sublime from Mr. Bolan. And now one more corner to go is Lodge. Let's see if we can nail it once again. It's going to be the first lap on the board. Let's see. The finish line is there for the British driver. He crosses the line. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, he goes on provisional pole with a 34-5. Very well done. There you see Mr. Holloway staying on second. You know what? Let's move some of the other gentlemen. They are on track. Here we have Ariol Espinoza heading into the water tower. Poland still claims the lead. Michael Clout on a P2. We also see John Finch joining the ranks. Going down into fifth, into sixth now because Plastow has taken the P4. Massive gaps all over the place at this moment we'll see the grid get tighter as qualifying progresses here you see Ariola Espinosa is going to cross the finish line and what is going to be for that Toyota looks like he's going to go into eighth let's head with some other gentlemen as well go with British own Mr. James King Ooh, we have had a little bit a connection issue with him. Oh, there has been a crash, actually. What has happened? Good Lord. That is not good. Here you see a very slow car. Mr. Egok. And we go with San Bon. Of course, another UK representative. Here we go into the lovely chicane of his lops. That's a great line. There's a lot of traffic. This is not going to be great. For a qualifying lap, there you see. Oh, my Lord. That's a crash from Matthew Banyard. Sandbound trying to survive. This is a pure chaos. Add to the entry of the third sector here. My Lord. That is a getting quite, quite close. Let me tell you, we're going to move into seeing uh, what's going to happen uh, on qualifying. There you see the different sectors from all of the drivers. At the moment, Ariola Espinosa improving by quite a bit. Here you have him about to cross the finish line once again. Mr. Espinosa crosses the line and he looks like he's going to move up into ninth. Indeed, he does. Great job. From Mr. Espinoza, who is improving as well. We have Colin Scott. Let's go on board with him. Let's see how he's doing. He just went through the large corner. Now into the finish line. He proceeds. And that is going to be nothing else and nothing more than a start of a new lap. Because unfortunately, that was invalidated going to have to go for another round to get himself on the standings I would love to go with Duncan Steele here you see him approaching the water tower the Druid's corner and now through the bridge we go 
into the large corner once again. Let me tell you, these Toyotas are very versatile. You can abuse the tires with these cars, no problems whatsoever. Duncan Steele, here you have him, he's gonna cross the line. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a P6. Momentarily, we still have half of qualifying to go and many things can change in just a matter of a second. Let's move now with Chris Slater Jr. Here you have him crossing the line as well. Let's see what he can do. Hopefully he can get himself on the board pretty soon. That's a very nice first corner. And let's see what he can do on Cascades. Can he nail the exit? You can see he's taking a wider approach. That is a very nice corner indeed. And we head now into the island band. Well executed from Mr. Slater. Let's check now with Michael Cloud. We were talking about him before. He got himself into the top three. And let me tell you, he's not going to stop pushing until he gets into the lead. What a lovely livery, I must say. Of course, another RAF representative. There you see Clow crosses the line. Has it been enough to take the pole position? It hasn't. Still balling. Stays on top. Let's move with Peter Plastow, who has put a couple of uh, green sectors as well as a purple. Faster second sector of qualifying so far. And here you see him, Mr. Plastow, about to cross the line. Will he be able to get into the top five at least? Here he goes, and uh, Plastow is going to stay on 10th. Unfortunately, that sector wasn't too good. Let's head now with a Tyler Reed who's also just finished the lap. Time for a new one. Time for another chance. Six minutes to go on this qualifying. Let's see if it can continue that way. Here we go. Mr. Scott, let's go with him now. Here you see him about to cross the line. A car was off the track. That was uh, Mr. Jason Mark Sparron. Uh, Colin Scott stays in 14th for the moment. Uh, let's head now with Craig Durant. A fantastic P2. Just two tenths away from the pole position. Here you see him side-by-side -side action, of course. The car's gonna move out of the way. He wasn't on a flying lap. Mr. Durant, heading through the water tower into Druid's corner, fantastically done from the British driver. And here he goes into the large corner. How is it looking? It's looking pretty damn nice to me. Fantastically done from Mr. Durant, but unfortunately, he is gonna send it to the pit lane. So you know what, let's go with Darren Barris, another British driver, another representative of RAF, and of course, we're all here for the riot. Big hello to all of you that are watching on that incredible event. I wish I could be there with all of you. Good morning, Mr. Van Swinderen. Welcome to the broadcast. Mr. Barry is through the island band, taking things calmly. No need to rush. It's all about the race. I like it. Calm approach. We only have one driver who hasn't put himself on the board. That would be Mr. Dan Hartwick. From the rest, they are looking like they have hit their best times we don't see anybody improving but mr bears himself let's go on the chopper to take a closer look at how he does through the double right hander that leads us into the last sector through the trees we go fantastically done from barris can he get himself into the top five that would be lovely indeed a time for launch 
taking things calmly on the exit as you can see not forcing the car to oversteer he crosses the line and uh, Darren Barris is gonna put a 34-5 oh just just one tenth away from the P5 who's held by Duncan Steele really well done lap but unfortunately not gonna get into the top five yet still two minutes and a half to go anything can happen I want to go with Colin Scott who's improving on mostly every single sector here he goes now through the bridge and approaching the last corner let's see if he can get himself into the top 10 that would be a great qualifying result here he goes finish line full throttle pedal to the metal until he crosses the line and uh, what is that going to be for Colin Scott he is going to put an invalidated lap again oh that's too much that is going to be invalidated as well really hard on that entry and you need to be careful with that astroturf very slippery at times let's head now with mr john finch here you see him also approaching the finish line what will it be will it be the p5 he crosses the line and then mr john finch is not able to overcome darren barris it's just ten thousandths of a second chris Bolin. I must call him the flying bread, my God. He is on fire. On a reel. He's still putting purple sectors. He wants to secure the pole position and is doing a great job at that. Two purple sectors. And ladies and gentlemen, Bolland goes into a 33.699. Durant is coming pretty quick as well. Could he do something about this? Lodge corner, the last one. Let's see, can he challenge for the lead? The finish line is right there for him. Will it be enough? Duran crosses the line, and ladies and gentlemen, it is not enough. The lap was actually slower than his best. This is gonna be the last attempt for everybody involved. What a wonderful qualifying session we have had. But it's coming to an end. Let's go with Jason McParron. You can see that right now he's having a better time with some spin before. This time around, feels more confident on the car. He's going to have one more shot. Crossing the line 10 seconds before the checkered. 35 4, that puts him into 12. Let's see if he can get any higher. My God, Boland doesn't stop improving every single lap. He's making better and better and better times. Will he go into the 33 fives? We'll see. No, he won't. He loses the car on Lodge Corner. Of course, he's going to get out of the way for the rest of the drivers to continue. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful qualifying session we have had, but it has come to an end. The checker flag is held, and we're about to go rock and rolling. Sam Bond still putting some good times. Craig Durant also trying to catch the lead at last. There you see Sam Bond not enough to improve. Durant is going to abort the lap. We also have Alex Holloway. On a flying attempt, as well as Colin Scott, who's the man in front. The checkered is out, as I previously mentioned. And it looks like Mr. Holloway is going to abort. The rest of the drivers doing just the same. I would like to check on Michael Clout. He is on a flying lap as well. Here you see him up the hill. Into the water tower we go. Can Michael Clow clutch it at the last opportunity possible? He needs to improve by four tenths to make it to the top. Sparron stays in 12th with a 35-217. Mr. Clow, only the launch corner to go. He's going to have to throw it all. Will he be able to do it? Looks like he's taking things calmly. I think he has the board of the lap. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 
this qualifying session is over and we have a pole sitter that is mr chris bond with a 33 six, nine, nine. what a fantastic lap i must say and here you see sam bond bringing the car to the pit lane as well as colin scott and jason mcsparren here you see mr mcsparren coming through the hilltop and it is time to proceed with the race ladies and gentlemen we are going to have a great one everybody ready to leave it all out there and i want to say a special thank you again to our sponsors especially splunk of course thank you very much for supporting us in the cause we are about to start this first race and of course let's check on the grid because it is going to get exciting let's go with it here you see the man who leads is none other then a Chris Boland on P2 is going to be Craig Durant. Then on the second line is going to be Michael Clow and John Finch on third and fourth, respectively. Stu Etock and Duncan Steele for the third line. Barrison Reed for the fourth. Holloway and Slater Mister are going to finish the top ten. Behind them, Plastow and McSparren on 11 and 12 for 13th. Sorry, is Ariola Spinoza. And Sam Bond on 14th, Colin Scott on 15th, James Kane on 16th, and then to finish it off, Matthew Banyard and Dan Hartwick on 17th and 18th to finish off the grid for this first race of two. Let's get things going because this is about to start and it's going to get exciting. Here you see the gears because we are ready to go four star the lights ready to pop out and the red turns green this is the start of the race fantastically done from chris ball and there's a little bit of action at the back you gotta be careful there you see an incredible start from craig durant to take the lead we have Bolin and finch now fighting for the position Bolin has lost two and he might have lost three look at the three wide there in the middle there has been a little bit of a crash we're gonna check it out very soon stop by side action between etoc and darren barris look like barris has it covered fantastically done we have a little bit of an incident out the back and we're gonna check it quickly because Samban has had an issue let's check it out there you see Mr. Bun well there is a blinking car that didn't look too good oh that's not good let's go to the lead Craig Durant stays ahead we have had another crash what has happened Slater Mister has been involved in it absolute chaos at the beginning, look at Slater, Mr. Oh my God! A massive hit! Two cars involved, and Mr. Slater, the one with a broken front. We have already had a retirement. Here you see the round is being attacked by Michael Clow. It's getting very, very, very close. I love the action here at the lead. Who's gonna be? P1 at the start of the second lap. Here you see millimeters away from one another. Both Royal Air Force e Sport driver, Clow and Duran battling it out for the lead. At the moment, it looks like Duran has this cover and he's not going to have too much issue defending it. Here we have side by side action between John Fish and Stu E. Talk. Here they go through turn number one through the amazing. Incredible! All whole corner into the cascades. We proceed with Mr. Etoc taking a wider approach on the entry. The exit is going to be quite good for both, but still looks like Finch has this cover. Harwick has sent him into the pit lane. It is Durant with the lead still. Reaching close, finding from both drivers. I must say at the top and we need to go with him because look at that nearly side by side Durant keeping the lead a cloud just waiting patiently for the right moment to arrive 
Here we go. That's a great exit again from Michael Clow. Could he make it this time around? We'll see. Approaching the water tower. He's left and he doesn't want to go for it. Maybe the exit is what he's looking for. Could he do it? On the large corner, he took a very slow approach to that second right-hander. Does not want to risk anything. There's still 12 minutes to go. I apologize, the standings are not working correctly. Harvick is in the pit lane, he is not leading. The man who might be leading now is might be Mr. Michael Clow, because he goes side by side with Craig Durant. Here they go, into the first corner. Clow goes on the inside, and it gets the lead. Fantastically done, what a move on turn number one. The fighting very close overall that you see Balland, who has dropped many positions down in the fifth at the moment. And a look at him go. He goes a little wide. That is Mr. John Finch. And now he's going to be overtaken by Stu Etock. And a look at him go. He might make a move on Boland as well. Through the iron band. All of the drivers go. Nice traction. Not so good for Etock. Who loses it. Rejoins the track safely. That's what matters the most. And here you see the leader, Michael Clow, still staying ahead of everybody else. Durant not able to attack just yet. We see Tyler Reed getting into the pit lane. There you go, the standings now are properly working. Durant might go for a move. You can see he's closing in. His last sector is usually very good. Let's see if he can do a good exit here. On the large corner, we have had Dan Harwick having a little bit of a crash. Let's take a look at it. He goes through the last corner. Does it look like a crash? Does it? Well, I think I've been lied to. <laughs> there is no crash, at least not yet. It goes a little wide. Seems clean. Yeah, no issues. No issues indeed. Let's go with John Finch who's uh, catching on Chris Boland. Boland up in the fourth again. These two are trading positions left and right. Let's go on board with Mr. Finch. Let me tell you, wonderful job from him. At the moment, the top five looks like this. Cloud at the lead, Durant on second, Barris on third, uh, Boland on fourth, Finch on fifth. You can see taking a very calm line through. The Island Band, let's head now back with Darren Barris from P3. He's rapidly catching on Craig Durant. Even though these two flew away at the beginning, the gap is coming down. The consistent fighting between both is making things a little harder. And that is going to get the rest to catch up. Let's check because we have had Colin Scott having a little bit of an issue. There you see him approaching the Allen Band. I think it looks like a spin. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Too much throttle on exit. And that ain't gonna work. Here you see, Baller now on his way to reclaim a podium spot. Can he make it happen? Let's see. Let's go on the chopper to have a better look at the line they take through the old hole corner. A great line from both. Still balling, looking pretty comfortable here on fourth. Let's see, Cascades time. And a Darren Barris covering the inside. Pretty nicely, looks like he's gonna be able to survive a little longer. Will Boland go for the move? The slipstream is helping. He's looking for a better exit once again through the element. Look at how Lady breaks. Oh, my Lord, millimeters away from disaster. Great exit from both. And this might be the moment for Mr. Boland to make things happen. Let's take a look. There you see how close it is as we head into the chicane of his laps. Boland trying to go for the switcheroo. Not working just yet. Up into the clay hill we go. But still, Barris stays alive. Well done. From both of them, we have had another 
incidental track. Let's check it out. It's Alex Holloway. Here you see him. Looks like another incident on the island band. The entry is good. Too much curve. Too much power. And another spin on our way. There you see ball and has actually moved to third. And I want to see the move. Let's check it out right now. You can see side by side after the Druid's corner. Easy inside line. Not a lot you can say about this. Pretty clinical move. Inside line and make it work. We go back with them. Of course, the Royal Air Force. What can we say about this incredible organization? The motorsports uh, subcategory has been active since 1961. Encouraging participants in motorsport events at local, inter-service, national, and international level. As you can see right now, we have a coalition with the lovely U.S. Force. We have some American drivers. He must be pretty late down there. Here you see Ball and, and Barry side by side. It looks like Barry might be able to clutch it in. There has been a little bit of contact. Both of them staying alive. Bullet staying on the outside. That's closing a little too much. Need to be careful. Now it is Barry on the inside once again. He should have the upper hand for the next following corners of Water Tower and the Druid's corner. But it looks like Bullen is going to keep the straight through. My God, that is some close racing. And that is what we love, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen. Let's go one more with Barris. Look at how much he's pushing. He wants to make this happen. Six minutes to go of this first race of two. Let's see. Barris looking for the inside line. Will he break later? He need he does. He needs to get the right exit. It is getting it very nicely, but it is not going to be enough. We also have another fight happening. Not anymore, unfortunately, because we have had a crash. Let's take a look what happened. Matthew Banyard, little tap on the curb. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my days. I don't, I really don't know what he was trying there, but unfortunately it hasn't worked at all. Big incident. Here you see, Barris still trying to make a move. Ball very smartly taking the better exit. That's exactly how you do it. And uh, we need to go back with the leaders. With Michael Clow, with Craig Durant. Clow is on fire. Half a second ahead of Craig Durant at the moment. What a wonderful first race we are having. Let's move right with Ariola Spinoza. Who's a little far away from Alex Holloway. But he's putting some good times right now. The fastest time on the track has been a 33.9 set by Craig Durant. The uh, gentlemen on track are running 33.34. So let's see how this second half of the race continues. We go back with Barris and Bolin. And Luke is joining the fray. None other than Mr. John Finch. Here you see him. Plastow is also catching. But these two are going to get involved into the fight for a podium spot. And I cannot wait for it. Here you see the front left of Mr. Finch. Carrying the speed through the cascades. Unfortunately missing the apex a little bit. We have had a move. We have had a move on the lead. Durant. And a Cloud trading position, but again, Cloud goes for the inside, a great exit. And this might be the take back from Mr. Michael Cloud. Can he make it happen? Approaching his laps. Can he do it? He's breaking early, wants to leave some room. Oh my days almighty, look at how close these two are. But Durant has the move done. The exit is still there from Cloud. He might be able to make it happen. Let's see, there you go. He is moving forward. Durant and Cloud side by side. Look at how close it is between these two. Unbelievable side by side action through the water tower, through the Druid's corner. It is still side by side. This is racing at its best, ladies and gentlemen. Cloud 
on the outside. Can he close it in? Can he go for the switch? Arrera's looking for it. Oh, my Lord. That's a great exit from both. And they still go side by side. This is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move with the all-hole corner. Turn number one. The round takes the lead momentarily. There you see an incredible exit from Michael Clow. Getting up on the inside of Cascades. This is unbelievable racing we're witnessing here today. Here you see the round cannot do anything against it. Clow takes the lead momentarily. But look at the round trading it. Oh my God. This is incredible. There we go. A wider look through some of the helicopters we have on track. It's still Clow. At the lead, the exit is going to be good for the Rand. But looks like this time around, Clow has had the upper hand. What a wonderful fight. Here we go, the Rand. Oh, yo, 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 yo. He broke a little too late. He punted the back of Michael Clow. He let him through, of course. Gentlemen move. That's how you do it. But my God, was that close. One minute to go. This is going to be the last lap of the first race. Unreal action, ladies and gentlemen. This is exactly what you could be hoping for. And here we go. Time for Lodge Corner for the penultimate time on this first race. How is it going to end up? At the moment, Cloud stays ahead on the lead. Let's check on Peter Plastow, who has now caught up to John Finch massively. Will he be able to go into the top five? We'll see. The last lap has started. And now we will have to see who's going to take the crown for the first of two rounds here today. Of course, big love to everybody who's watching both on our social media, on Facebook, on YouTube, who's watching live on the riot. We really want to thank you all for supporting the Royal Air Force. Here you see side-by-side -side action. Durant again going for it. Through the hilltop we go. And this fight ain't going to stop. We're going to check quickly a big incident. Because that was uh, Colin Scott. What happened to him? Approaching the large corner and I think that has been a spin yeah you could see the entry you could see the entry a miles away let's go with Duran let's go with Cloud Duran has taken the lead what's gonna happen my god this is so intense let's go on board with Michael Cloud only three more corners to go who's gonna make it happen who's gonna take the W look at how late Cloud breaks good save but that is gonna take him away from the victory he tried his best to nail the exit. Saw that Durant was a little slower. Through the corner, had to break. Good save. But it is not going to be enough. Greg Durant takes the checkered flag and wins the first race of two. And you know what this means. He's going to go dead last on the second race reverse grid. I cannot wait for it, Cloud. On P2, Ballin. On P3, we got Bearson fourth. Finch on fifth. Plasta on sixth. Etoc on 7, Holloway on 8th. Then we got Ariol Espinosa about to cross the line on 9th. Colin Scott is going to finish things off in 10th. What a wonderful, incredible first race we have had. And let me tell you, this is just the beginning. The second race is going to start in just a few short moments. We're going to have a little bit of practice and then it's time to top things off. What a wonderful race. Scott on 10th, as I said. Tyler Reed on 11th. Sparrow on 12th. Sam Barn on 13th. James King on 14th. And then we have Slater Mister on 15th. Matthew Bonyard, Hartwick, and Duncan Steele to finish off the 18 drivers on the grid. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful race we have had. Now it is time to prepare the second. And I would like to ask you all, have you enjoyed this first race? I want to read it in the chat. Come on, people. Let me know. Have you enjoyed what we have seen so far? I hope you have, my friends. 
because it has been wonderful at the moment we are about to move into race number two and i must say lord almighty it's gonna get intense i really want to thank you all for being here of course again a big thank you to everybody that is involved in this the royal air force e motorsports we need to thank the u.s air force for joining us this is really really good for sim racing we gotta work together for the incredible sport that is racing in general doesn't matter if it's bikes cars whatever it is more sports are the best and we need to support each other well ladies and gentlemen we are going to go with a race number two get ready because things are going to get really really fun Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in just a few short moments. See you in a second.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for a raise number two. We're going to proceed with the action shortly. Let me tell you what a wonderful race one we had. And now it's time to top it all off. We had Mr. Duran taking the lead. We're about to proceed. And again, welcome everybody. I want to see some people. Come on. Say hello in the chat. Drop a hello. I want to reach you all. And of course, if you are on the riot, I want to see some pictures. Come on. You can tag me. You can do whatever you want. I'd love to see you all enjoying this incredible action here at Alton Park. What an amazing race we have had, of course. Big thank you to Michael Clow. Let me tell you, he has been quite a bit of help. He was the one who gave me the opportunity. And of course, you know, I really need to thank him. He has organized this event alongside the rest of the members of RAF. It has been fantastic. And well, time for talking is over. It is time to rock and roll. So why don't we go right for it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's head with a race number two. Let's go right with it. This time around, with the reverse grid, it's going to be Matthew Banyard leading from James King, Slayton Mister, San Bon, McSparren, Reed, Scott Espinosa, Holloway, and Etoch. For the top ten, then we got Peter Plastow, Finch, Barriers, Bowen, Clow, and Durant. Ladies and gentlemen, those are our 16 drivers. We have had two dropouts, unfortunately, but it is time to go rock and roll for the second time this lovely morning. Let's see how we're going to do. Banyar is going to be the one of the lead. The red lights are going to turn green in just a few short seconds. There you see Banyar getting ready, and it's time to go, 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 go. The start is very slow for Mr. Banyard. Oh, you, 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 James King is a really, really blinking. Good Lord Almighty, King takes the lead. Look at Holloway fly through the whole grid into P3. It goes. It has been contact at the back. That is Chris Bowen again involved in a big incident. Ay, 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 ay. Let's check it out quickly. I want to see what happened. Here you see a three wide at the back of the grid taking the first corner. Hit on the back. And complete spin. And we have had another crash live. Tyler Reed and a Colin Scott. What is going on right now? Let's see Reed. Here you see him. Let's take a wider look. Mr. Reed taking the corner. Looks like a spin. And there was a little bit of content there in front as well. Oh, you, 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 you. That was Colin Scott. Who, oh, he hit the tire wall. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's a car that is dead. James King, unfortunately, having some issues there. You saw the pit lane still. Not crowded, which is a good thing to see. There has been contact. Banyard is out of the track. And from second, he goes to nearly that. Let's rejoin. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 The grass. He needs to be careful with the throw lane pit. He's getting out of the way. You're sending everybody through. And we need to check this side by side. They make contact. King and Bond. My God, look at how tight they are. This is unbelievable racing once again. They don't want to stop fighting, and I love it. That is James King. Sam Bond is under the track. Careful with the region. Pa 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 Oh, my days. Look at the carnage. Everybody out. What a turn of events. Well, James King leading without any issues whatsoever. Unfortunately, we cannot see a lot of him. He is really struggling with the internet connection. Adel Espinosa in P2. Let's check on John Finch. He's catching on Darren Barris and Matthew Banyard. 
Badger went from second to last to fifth after that massive incident that has taken out more than seven people. Pure pandemonium here at Outland Park. Here you see Finch with a very good exit. So is the exit from Darren Bears who's going to try to make a move on the outside. Oh, no, Mr. Matthew Banger. Banger cannot defend himself. And now it's Bears ahead. Can he make it through the water tower? Yes, he can. No issues whatsoever. My Lord, what an incident. Things have dramatically calmed down on track. And you know what? We're going to take another look at the incident. This one was after the big incident behind it. You see e -talk really breaking. Looks like a spin. Oh, my God. On two wheels. Wow. That's the first time I see a Toyota go on two wheels, ladies and gentlemen. My days. We have also had another incident. It is Jason McSparren. Let's see. He's heading into Lodge Corner. It's chaotic here at Allen Park. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Finch and McSparren both out of the track. Now we have a fight between Slade and Mista and Matthew Bonyard going through the Island Band. Here they go into the hilltop. A great exit from Mr. Slater. Maybe he can do something about it. Let's go with Peter Plastow, who's catching us to Etoc. Etoc is trying to defend it as we head into the Cascades. Turn number three, Plastow looking very comfortable and very comfortable so far. We have two people in the pit lane, unfortunately. That incident was massive. Look at Plastow. He might go on the inside. No. Gonna wait. Not gonna try just yet. Let me tell you, Durant coming into the pit lane. From a victory to a big incident. What an unfortunate thing to see. Slater and Bondyard still fighting, but Slater now is the one ahead. Another one of the RIF, the Royal Air Force drivers. James King comfortably leads the race for Mariola Spinoza, Chris Ballin, Tyler Reed, Darren Barris, Michael Clout, Slater Mista, Bondyard, McSparren, and Finch. That is our top 10. We have had James King having a little bit of an issue. Unfortunately, we cannot see too much. Oof. I got to tell you, that is tough. Huh? Having these internet connection issues can be troublesome, especially when you're fighting with somebody else. Welcome to the broadcast. Bjormanda Omelin, lovely to see you here. Boland slowly but surely trying to get himself back on the board. He's catching Adios Spinoza right now. Mr. Boland, the fastest man on track. This is race number two. A couple minutes away from halfway point. What a chaotic incident we have had on the old hold corner. Things are now a little more stable. And here you see Peter Plastow going again on Stu Etoc. Mr. Plastow taking things calmly. Does not want to get involved in any shenanigans. Here he goes. Island band looks good from him. The exit is also good. Will the slipstream be enough to make a move? Let's see. Slowly but surely he's catching. But I don't know if he's going to have enough room to make it through the chicane. Let's see. Mr. Plastow, that's a good line. Has to stay behind. Looks like he's going to be able to survive it. Well, of course, as I wanted to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, now that things have dramatically calmed down, uh, it is amazing to hear all of the love we're receiving from this race. It has been an incredible ride so far, and we still have seven minutes and a half to go. Of course, I know we have four rigs on the public. For you to try some sim racing. So I'm sure four of you are going to have a lot of fun. Many of you are going to be able to try the rigs there on the riot. And there you see Plasma might go for an inside move here. It's side by side. Looks like Plaxton might be able to close it in. Yes, he can. Lovely line. And we need to go with Ariola Pinoza. He's really catching. He is really catching James King, but Chris Bolin is right on his tail. Bolin is on fire. 
Here he goes on the outside through the water tower. We go to the rich corner. My God Almighty. My God Almighty, that was close. But Bolland goes through and up in the second he goes. James King has an eight second lead. That is going to be nearly impossible to beat unless he makes a mistake. No commentator curses here. Perfect setup indeed. That was a wonderful move. From Mr. Ball, and there you see E Talk trying to stay on Mr. Plastow's tail. It's half a second. Oh, that was bouncy. You got to be careful. These cars can take curbs very nicely, but take them the wrong way, and you're going to go on two wheels just like we saw before. Bandyard is also catching on a Jason McSparren, and I want to see how this one goes. Because it's getting tight very quickly. So let's see. John Finch is right behind Mr. Bonyard. How is this one we're going to go? We saw uh, Finch and McSparren having issues. Oh, you, 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 Finch. Nearly losing the car. But now, due to that mistake, he has lost three tenths. Uh, he's gone. There he goes. Finch back on it again. I'd like to check right now on Chris Bolin. Right now he's seven seconds and a half behind. He doesn't have time. Huh? James has to make a big mistake for Bolin to catch up. Unfortunately for King, he's having many connection issues. But let's see if he can keep it on track. Finch again on the hunt of Matthew Bonyard. Will we finally see the move? Or will it stay the same? Here they go. Finch getting really close. Into the water tower we go in the Druid's corner. This has been the key point of the track for overtaking maneuver, especially when you catch up. Two. The launch corner, and there you see, we're going to see another example right now. Finch on the inside line. Look at how tight it is between these two. But Finch is already ahead. Moves up in the ninth. Cloud, as you can see, being caught by Chris Slater, Mr. So you can see poor Cloud's car. Doesn't seem too happy. The front is completely gone. So the island man, we go. With both drivers doing a fantastic job. Either way, they are staying alive. Just like the BG say. Let's move quickly with Bolin. He is still putting banger after banger. But it is not being enough. Four minutes to go. I understand that we are going to have three more laps. Let's check. If possible. I think it's going to be, yeah, three more laps. James King crosses the line. Stays on first. Seven and a half seconds ahead. Let's go quickly with Slater, who's really catching now. Let's go on board with him. As we head into the large corner, look at the overspeed from Slater Mister. Will he go for the dive? No, he's waiting for it. You can see that Cloud does not want to defend it too much either. He was actually leaving a little bit of room. Because he knows he cannot do too much about it. He's missing the front. He's missing a lot of top speed. And he's paying for it. As you can see, the corners, he doesn't care that much. But when we go on the straights, the difference is massive. You see, it's still half a second. Nice exit from Cloud. And I think stay the same after that big incident. We don't have any fights on track. Things seem already settled. Here you see Ariola Espinosa, who had a tough first race right now. Touching, smelling the podium. Would be a great result to finish things off. That's for sure. Let's quickly head with Mr. Slater. Here you see him. 
He is now really on the tail of Michael Clough, and this could be it. He has gotten a great run. Could he do the same thing we saw Mr. Durant do on the first race? On the outside, can he clutch it? Can he make it happen? He goes forward, actually. Stop by side, Slater, and Clough. Clough is just going to let him through. That's a very wise choice indeed. Why would you risk it? Oh, you, 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 Slater. Nearly losing the car. Traction. Now look at the comfortable. Let's go quickly with Plasto and Matthew Banyard. They're going side by side. Plasto on the outside of the clay hill. And it looks like he's already ahead for the Druid corner. Indeed he is. No issues whatsoever. He flies away. Fly like an eagle to the sea. There you have him. <laughs> Doing an amazing job. Only one minute, 30 seconds to go. Here you see, one more lap is what we're going to have today. Let's see. I want to go back with Clow, even though, look at that, he's steering wheel. is definitely crooked. The suspension has been massively hurt as well. I don't even know how he's keeping the car alive. What a fantastic job from Mr. Michael Clow. Here we go. Time for a hill slops. Really tough chicane. Careful with the tire walls. They don't move. They are as hard as a diamond. Great exit from both. But Slate, of course, having the upper hand on speed. Not going to struggle at all to survive this last 30 seconds of this second race. Ladies and gentlemen, what a blast we have had. And things are unfortunately coming to an end. Let's take a look at James King if we can. At least for a little bit as he goes through the Cascades for the last time. What a great race. Consistent. Clean. Getting himself out of trouble. That's what you got to do. And he did it to perfection. Stu Etoch. Still trying to catch him. Peter Plastow. But it's just not happening. The gap is going bigger and bigger and bigger. What has happened to uh, Michael? Because he has dropped a little further from Slater. Look at the difference in speed. It's massive. It is massive indeed. We go back with the leader, James King. Unfortunately, there you go. He's back, but <laughs> not anymore. But he looks like he has this on the pocket. It is four seconds. Between these two. But James knows. He has it done. No need to force it. Just bring it to the finish line. Let's see if we can get to him. There you see him. About to go through the last corner. We go with Chris Bolin. To finish things off. One more corner for James King. Let's see if we can get him. Yes we can momentarily. But he has it done. Ladies and gentlemen. James King is your winner. Of the second race here at Outland Park. Bolin is going to end it all in P2. He gained 12 positions. Ariola Pinoza is going to finish off the podium on P3. Wonderful job. And then it follows with read on fourth. There is some fifths later. And Klaus still fighting, but looks like Slater Mister is going to have the upper hand. He's going to end it all in P6. Klaus on seventh. Masparin looks like he's going to get an easy eighth. Finch and Plastow are going to finish the top ten. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful evening here at Outland Park. A morning in real life we have had. I really want to thank you all for supporting us through. We have had a blast. And ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be it for us today. Thank you kindly. And I wish to see you soon. Have a lovely day and enjoy the riot, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great one.